Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, had a busy three weeks following the ease of lockdown. Liquor ban has been lifted, tens a whole lot of people got into accidents again. And they got half of my time on YouTube. Another yet exciting part of my time was given to making my own rooftop build. This will be a first in a series of videos from designing with SketchUp, building fiberglass grow beds and structural support for the beds, and finally doing the nitty gritty of piping and aquaponic care. The build was inspired by the aquarium you see each time I greet you guys. Just look at your screen, and this is the aquarium I'm talking about. Actually, the whole aquaponics learning was to relieve me from carrying at least 120 gallons of water every week, doing water changes. As of the moment, five aquariums have already been integrated to my aquaponic system and I am building a rooftop build for the last aquarium inside our home. So without much further ado, here goes the SketchUp design for the system. We are building in an area of approximately 55 square meters, but we will start only using 35 square meters for the current build. Starting off, we will be using a 6 feet by 2.5 feet by 2 feet aquarium with a thickness of half inch, which will act as our aquaculture container. The water from the aquarium will then be drained into two separate radial filters. And finally get filtered into our 5 foot by 18 inch by 18 inch by 1 fourth inch up and down filter sump system. This build is designed using a single pump split flow system. Which means that a single pump will redirect the flow of water to different areas of the aquaponic system and not use gravity to redirect its flow. This system is partially powered by a 1,590 gallon per hour pump having a maximum head of 13 feet providing water to the aquarium and simultaneously splitting to provide water supply to the deep water culture bits. The deep water culture beds then drain into their own gravel beds. Finally, the water will all drain back towards the sump to complete the cycle. The system will be fully aerated by a one-piece 80 liter per minute DC piston pump and two pieces battery DC converted air pump to be used at night time. This will all be powered by a single 320 watts monocrystalline solar panel. Well, that's all for now. The next video will be a semi-detailed actual construction of our fiberglass containers. Again, thank you for watching. Kindly comment and subscribe. See you soon.